Malik and Nick Holiday on the precipice of a history making evening for them. Team championships, and maybe next week, even the following the reality contest of scheduled for one fall is for the reality of a wrestling tag team championship. <laughs> Introducing first the challengers, accompanied to the ring by Nick J. Holiday, Malik Bosetti. Eli Knight, this is Culture E! And their opponents, accompanied to the ring by two-time, two-time WWE Hall of Famer Booker T! They are the reigning, defending reality of wrestling tag team champions, Gaspar Hernandez, Mysterious Q, the Who. The 
rousing introduction by our ring announcer Chris Russo to really set the stage and the table. The Reality Wrestling Tag Team Championships up for grabs. Will the run to end all runs of the heat continue on past this evening or will Culture Inc. find their way to have their hand raised at the end of the contest? The road to the throne is long and the main event for the reality of wrestling begins right now. This is definitely one hell of a main event as we are about to see fireworks go off inside the World Gym Arena. Malik not shying away from the giant Gaspar and already taking it to him. Oh, no. Reversal of the Irish whip there. Going for a lariat, not rocking the big Gaspar Hernandez, but Malik not backing down. Oh! oh. It's not about the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. Swing and a miss there by Gaspar, but he just oh. picks him up. Look at that with ease and now Malik in a bad spot here but able to break off and Lock here tag. comes Eli Knight. Lock oh. tag and a double team opportunity. Oh. Double drop kick into the corner. The big man rocked. Gaspar on the wrong side of the ring there. Oh, oh. oh my oh. gosh and a spine to spine. Bouncing off Mysterious Q love what he just saw and so does Booker T. And there goes Malik. And now Eli Knight, the target of the Terminator, Gaspar Hernandez. You know, earlier you talked about Gaspar being the first pupil of the Heat, Brad. And you've got to imagine that he is possibly one of the best spots any person has been here in the reality of wrestling. Not only being able to take in knowledge from Booker T himself, but also the likes of Mysterious Q and Promise Braxton as well. That is quite the learning tree. Oh. Look at that though, just pure strength. Pure strength, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh my God! Brady and Kirby, I have not seen Culture Inc. be dominated in such a fashion in what right now is almost a glorified two-on-one handicap. I mean, Mysterious Q is well rested. Yeah, 100%, I mean, Q's just chilling and relaxing, letting well. Gaspar do the work, but now Q's gonna come in here. Culture Inc. go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Fly Death and be each equally matched, but this is just brutality. And Booker T is is just smiling. Big smile. Oh, look at that. Look at that in the scarf. Oh. The scarf of Booker T strangling Eli Knight. Referee distracted by Malik and Nick Holiday. And that is the type of advantage they try and take us down the cover. Only a two count. Booker that T picking that up from the one and only sensational Sherry. Let's look at this mysterious Q. Takes up Eli. But Eli able to break free from that suplex. And now here comes oh. the speed of Eli escaping oh. one hit. And Eli Knight is one of the most exciting people we have here on the entire roster. And here he is showing us why. Rolls through, and a hurt oh. a serious cue, and he pops right back up. And oh. there is a single leg drop kick. Right to the chin cover. One, two, and no, not enough. The lid almost came off of the World Gym Arena here as the Row Nation was so excited to see Q almost counting the lights. Now attacked here for Culture Inc. as Malik is the legal man in this matchup. As you saw him meet Mysterious Q in the corner and here comes the tag team work of Culture Inc. Into the cover now Malik could have just won the championship no. but no. That was definitely a high risk maneuver there as they might have been done more damage to Culture Inc. 
than helped them as now they're in the corner of the heat. Well, whenever you're in there against the heat, Brittany, you've got to take all kinds of risks, but sometimes risks don't pay off. And now Malik feeling the effects of the onslaught of offense brought to them by the current reality wrestling tag team champions. And Irish whip into the corner, Malik. Oh, oh. beautiful backflip off the top rope. Ducks a couple of shots and finds himself in a familiar position as earlier. Oh, oh. goodness. Oh. Did Gaspar just beat someone with another person? That happened and now it looks like Malik might be off and flying. Oh, oh. my gosh. The strength of Gaspar. And MJ Bell trying to uh, regain some. Oh man, stop right to the sternum. And Gaspar isn't even gonna wait for Malik to get his senses about him. Throws him right back in the ring. Oh! <laughs> that is By just, that's just monstrous power right there. One, two, and somehow, I don't know if that was the proverbial muscle memory we hear so much about when it comes to these athletic ex exhibitions, but Malik finding a way to get a shoulder up. I think Booker T was happy about that. Booker T was over there smiling and nodding, wanting the, the carnage to continue against Culture Inc. Oh, Gaspar now ran right into a boot, and here comes Malik delivering that elbow to Q. The Heat could be in trouble. Gaspar just ran into that corner, but look at this, Q making sure that the tag won't happen. Oh! Oh, oh. oh. Gaspar goes out, and Eli comes in. And a big drop kick springboard. Eli with oh. a moonsault! Oh. What a beautiful springboard moonsault! Eli is just from another planet. Oh my goodness. And they got this crowd rocking. Oh, Rodeo DDT, Tornado DDT cover. One, two, and no, not enough. Gaspar Hernandez and Q. Able to prevent a three count from occurring. Malik able to come in and interfere with whatever Gaspar had in mind. As both guys from Culture Inc. As a matter of fact, all four men in the ring right now. And this is just an all-out brawl. It is broken down here in the ring. And oh no, oh no. Both members of Culture Inc. Oh! oh. <laughs> they were up on the shoulders of the Heat, but now both guys are cleaning house. Mysterious Q is in a bad spot. Malik to the outside, but oh. Gaspar catches him. Look at that, just throws oh. him. Oh. Throws him right into the apron. It is Bedlam out here. I, I am not envious of our referee trying to keep control of the action. The face of Booker T does not look pleased by what he is seeing no, with he, Eli Knight. No, I, referee checking on Q. Oh. Eli throws him down on the Q. Wait a minute. Oh, and Gaspar Hernandez just pulled the referee out. He pulled him out by his arm like a ragdoll. That was going to be it. It looked like we were going to get a new tag. Oh, no. Whoa. Gaspar Hernandez just knocked Nick Holiday out. This is just absolute chaos right now. Somebody needs to get control. Oh, it's not going to be Mick Kirby. Would you like to go get control? I am a commentator, not a trained oh. official. Booker T finding a way to get out of harm's way in a second. Booker T though being blocked by those stairs. Booker T with his isotone on his arm, pleading not guilty to the accusations from Eli Knight. Oh. Eli in a bad way right now. We could be just seconds away, but hold on, the cue cutter was on the way. Spotted him. Oh wait, roll up. No referee though. Oh, oh right oh, hand. Oh. A right hand. Despicable actions. And the cue cutter. Know what that's 
like. And the referee, referee barely with it, is now being put back into position by Booker T in a cover one. Not this way, not this way. Oh my goodness, second and still.